Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my June empties. I don't have that much but I will kind of explain that at the end. So let's just get right into it. Start off with my clamshells. I have the Mainstays Vanilla. These are a lot shallower than the Better Homes and Gardens ones. Um, because these are, but they're a lot cheaper. They're only 97 or 93 cents, something like that. But I actually really enjoyed this. I didn't like it by itself, but I really liked having this to either mellow out or blend with another scent. I, um, I think it's a great, just a great blender to, to tone down scents that aren't really great. Or to just throw in if you want something a little bit creamy. For a cheap price, I really like to have these on hand and it's not bad. I uh, already have another one of this in my stash already, so I like to have it. I don't want to be without it. The next and final clamshell is also a mainstays. This is in Cranberry Mandarin. Oh my god, you guys, this is amazing. This is crazy, crazy strong and a great thrower. I only use one cube of this in my 20 watt Glade warmer. And it throws like a beast. It's amazing. And this smells exactly like the Better Homes and Gardens, either Citrus Splash or Cranberry Splash. Um, I know it has cranberries on the front of it, but I can't exactly think of it. So if you're on a budget, um, this, or even if you're not on a budget, this is honestly such a great scent. The Better Homes and Garden ones is only $2, but still, you save a buck. And this is amazing. It lasts a long time. It smells so good, so fresh. It smells exactly like, you know, a cranberry, mandarin, orange. And it's so, so summery. Love it, love it, love it. I already have another one of this in my stash because I did not want to be without it. We'll get into my little scent cups now. I only have two, just like the clams. This is Dainty Girl by Wax Incredibles. That's her website. Um, it's pink chiffon and peach nectar and this was really really great i typically don't love a peach scent but the peach nectar really i think is a sweeter scent than a normal peach or just a white peach i really liked it i don't i never melted a pink chiffon scent before so i can't comment on um you know whether this was strong in this blend because i don't know exactly what it smells like but this was really really good and it was one ounce i threw the whole thing right in the warmer it smells so good, so fresh, and it was really just perfect for summer. Next scent shot is from 10 Digit Creations, and this is v vanilla, <laughs> vanilla ice cream. I cut the scent shot into fours because um, it's a two ounce scent shot, um, and I wound up melting two pieces, so I wound up melting half each time that I threw this in the warmer. Um, I liked it. It was a little bit light. It wasn't um, super strong and it wasn't super long lasting. Uh, it was just a plain vanilla creamy scent, honestly. Probably wouldn't repurchase just because it wasn't anything super special. But I enjoyed it while I had it. Um, and I probably will not be purchasing from 10 Digit Creations anymore. Um, just because of the drama that's being stirred up again with her... Um, the owner Amber and her husband. I don't want to get into that. It's not really my place to talk about but Just some things were said that You know weren't very favorable for her and they just weren't very kind so I Just won't be repurchasing. I liked it, but it was just okay. It wasn't anything like super fabulous or anything that I like would need to have in my stash um, we'll do a wallflower. I just went through one. This is in Turquoise Waters. The scent description is a blend of sea spray, sunlight, and beach grass transports you to the Pacific's turquoise waters. I have this in my bathroom. It was decent. It was okay. It turned a nasty, funky green color at the end. If you've um, ever had a turquoise waters candle from Bath & Body Works or even their wallflower, it's really a pretty like turquoise color. And it turned a nasty looking green at the end. So, but it, it was okay. It wasn't the best. wasn't ter terrible. It was just half decent. Um, we'll go into bags. This is a Ziploc bag, which I know before everyone freaks out. I know this is, they're not supposed to be in Ziploc bags, but this was sent to me. So I just quick threw it in the warmer as soon as I got it. So it wouldn't lose any more scent. 
So this was the Vintage Seek Scents Walk of Fame. Scent description was strawberries and cream. Um, it was okay. It was one of those rose, I don't know what she calls them, rose, uh, it's a circular disc and it has a rose on it, rose quartet, I think she calls it a rose quartet, I think that's what she calls it, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was okay, it wasn't that great, didn't really throw that well, didn't, it was just, eh, it was eh. From Countryside Chunks, we have Cranberry Orange Scone. This was really, really nice, actually. I like Countryside Chunks. I don't really know what's going on with her business nowadays. Uh, I don't know if she's doing just samplers or if she's doing, um, you know, ready to ship. I have no idea. I follow her on Instagram, and it's kind of a little bit all over the place. But needless to say, she has some pretty good wax. This Her wax is a little bit softer, so it's kind of um, all over the baggy. But... It's, you know, it was a good blend, um, blend. It was a good, yeah, it was a good blend. It was a nice scent. It was just a uh, fresh, I didn't get much of the scone. It was more cranberry orange, but I like it and I probably would get it again. From Super Tarts, we have an Oops Full House. I have a clamshell of this actually. It's really good. It's, um, a bakery scent, kind of sugar cookie, bakery, sweet scent. Um, I don't have the regular Full House to compare it to, so I don't know how it compares, but I like the Oops blend. Not bad. And Super Tarts always throws super, super well. Super Tarts throws super well. Also from Super Tarts, I have Swan. The scent description is sweet raspberry and cranberry, lemon and pink chiffon. I can't even read my own writing. So sweet raspberry and cranberry, lemon and pink chiffon. This one was really, really good. Yeah, I had to smell it again just to make sure. You definitely get the um, the lemon in it, and you definitely get the cranberry. Again, I don't know about the pink chiffon. I don't know exactly what that smells like, but to me, this really smells like lemon, cranberry, and probably some raspberry, but I really like it. I don't know if I would repurchase um, like a full clam of it just because it does mainly smell like lemon. I'm not against lemon, but I don't think it's something that I'm dying to have in my collection, but I really, really like this. So this one was nice and good for the summertime. From Front Porch, we have orange sherbet ice cream cookies. I had a little bit of a fiasco with the Front Porch wax melts that I ordered. I ordered this, as you can see, on 327, or that's when I got it in. Um, and they all smelled like hairspray, straight up hairspray. Like there was no doubt about it. That was what they smelled like. And I don't know, everyone really raves about front porch, but I just, that just kind of turned me off immediately from them because everyone was talking about how great they were and how strong it was and they loved their stuff. And it was so worth the, uh, turnaround time and the free shipping and all that great, great stuff. But when I got them in, I was just so disappointed that they all smelled like straight up hairspray. There was nothing more to them. So I let them cure, even though Front Porch says that you don't really need to cure her wax. I let them cure for probably about a month. Um, and then obviously I melted this one in June. It was just okay, honestly. I really don't even remember it. It's not. It was not a memorable scent. It's not something I would repurchase. I, I honestly, I just can't really remember it. And if I smell the bag, the bag just smells like, it doesn't smell like orange sherbet because I absolutely adore orange sherbet. It doesn't smell like ice cream. It doesn't smell like cookies. It does not smell like anything like that. It just smells like a little bit like hairspray and plastic. So yeah, this would not be a repurchase. I don't even know if I would repurchase from Front Porch in general again. I honestly don't know. I have... A few things from them that throw pretty well but I just I just don't know I was so turned off by that hairspray smell that it's really hard to get back into from designer wax I have vanilla sand sandalwood and autumn rain I got a sampler from them it was a mystery sampler for I think uh, $15 or $12 something like that something pretty cheap and that included shipping and I got a 
crazy amount of wax. So I have a bunch of these little baggies full of one cubes, um, one cube or shape. So I have a bunch of designer wax to go through. This one was good. I, um, I like this. Her stuff is okay for me. I don't know if it's just because I only have one cube of everything and maybe some things need to. Everything smells really great on cold, very authentic to what the description is, but they don't throw very, very strong. And I think that's just because I only have the one cube and I think I would like to melt too. So I'm not holding that against her. That was just my doing on buying a sampler and not, you know, clamshells. But I enjoyed this one a lot. Next we have Lemon Poppy Seed Blackberry. Really, really enjoyed it. But again, it's the same thing with the lemon scent. Um, don't really think I need it in my collection because I'm not a super, super fan of lemon. I enjoy it while I melt it, but I don't find myself going out of my way to purchase lemon scents. But I really enjoyed this. And her blackberry was good. It wasn't a floral blackberry at all. This is the Spearmint and Vicks type. And typically, I would hate this. I would hate this with all of my being. I hate mint. I hate... Um, you know, the Vic smelling, but the first week of June, I was so, so sick. I got a nasty virus that just whooped my ass and I felt horrible. It started out with a really, really sore throat, then morphed into kind of like a head cold. I just, I had every symptom in the book basically. Um, and it was horrible. <laughs> so I melted this. And this was actually so strong through the bag that I kept this and another one of her um, mint things that she sent me away from all of my other wax because it was just like leaching through the bags and it's just, it's, everything smelled like mint and I hated it, I hated it. But um, I was so sick and so stuffed up that when I melted this, I could not smell a thing. So I'm sure this was super strong because I know that it smelled strong on cold and it was leaching everywhere in the bags when um, it was mixed in with all my other wax. But... Yeah, definitely strong, but it didn't cure my sinuses, unfortunately. We have American Cream type, which is a Lush dupe. I've never smelled the one from Lush. This one was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. It was just kind of like a creamy scent. I should have looked at the scent notes on it, but um, yeah, it was just okay. Not anything to rave home about. I, I wouldn't get it again. Pink Sands. This one was really, really small. It was a super tiny seashell. It was probably about the size of a dime and probably be, probably like, I don't know, like a third of an inch thick. It was not big at all. And I don't even like Pink Sands. This is like a Yankee, um, Yankee Candle dupe. I don't like the one from Yankee. Didn't love this one, but I just threw it in the warmer on one of those mornings where I was kind of, you know, running around the house and had that much time to throw something that I really loved into the, into the warmer. Um, so I just threw this in and kind of went about it and then turned the warmer off once I left. So it was okay. Wouldn't repurchase that, but that's just because I know the scent is not for me. This is, uh, from the brand Dank Stanks. Um, and that's her Etsy store. This is in Key Lime and the, they were little butterflies covered in glitter. So that's why they're called glitter flies. I actually won this on Instagram, but for through a giveaway that she was having so that was really nice the scent of this was good I've had this for probably since February and her stuff is soy so I really just wanted to melt it um they were really pretty they were really really stunning a green color and they had mica in them so they created a super pretty wax pool scent eh, it was okay definitely would not repurchase and last but not least we have Very Vanilla from Candles from the Keeping Room, and the scent description is intense vanilla with a touch of cream and sweetness. So I am thinking that I don't really like Candles from the Keeping Room. So many people rave about it. So many people love her wax, but I just don't think it's for me. I don't think I like her blend. I believe she uses a... Um, uh, pure paraffin wax which is very very hard it doesn't need cure time which is great but I just think it gives the wax a funky smell in my opinion again wax is so subjective so many people you know raved about this and love it so I placed a fairly decent sized order with her um, on the June opening as you guys saw in my haul and um, 
yeah, I just, I've melted a bunch of, not a bunch, I've melted probably three or four scents, and every single one of them I just, it's not for me, uh, unfortunately, when I was really looking forward to it, because I think um, it's just some really good blends and some scents that seem really great, but even this, just which is just a vanilla with a little bit of cream, I just didn't like. I think it, the wax, the, the um, paraffin wax just gives it a nasty, nasty twinge to it, and I did not like it. So that is that. So those are all my empties. Um, usually I have a little bit more. I actually am really pleased with the amount that I got through this uh, month. I follow um, Ramona Tolk here on YouTube, and she has an Instagram, which um, she does melting challenges for. It's called, uh, the hashtag is uh, Money's Melting Challenge, or Moni's Melting Challenge, sorry. And I follow her on Instagram and I follow the challenges. It just is an easy way to like pull stuff out of your stash and things like that. So I follow her, the, the challenges, and the challenge for the month was very different. Usually she does a scent, a different scent for every single day. And this time she did uh, different challenges by the week. So week number one, you know, the first like six days in June was melt brand number one. The second week of June was like melt bakery bags. The third week was like melt another vendor. Fourth week may melt some bags of wax. And then the, you know, the last six days was melt the, you know, last brand. And I did follow that for the most part, but that led to me not having a lot of empties because I didn't finish any bakery bags, obviously. And, you know, Candles from the Keeping Room was my one brand. Super Tarts was another brand. And then I was sick for the first week of June. So I, you know, I lost 10 days of melting at the beginning of the month. And then I just didn't finish anything because Super Tarts, I typically only use one few. So I didn't finish much, but this was all like my in-between stuff or when I didn't really just feel like being forced to melt a certain brand. So this is everything I melted in between. So next month I will probably have a little bit more we shall see. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and let me know what you guys melted this month. Did you get through a lot? Did you get through a little? And what was your favorites? Uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.